The 2014 Ramon Magsaysay Award, Randy Halasan. It is a truism that it takes a village to raise a child. But it seems equally true that it takes just one person to launch this collective process of education. Despite a century-old public school system in the Philippines, many communities remain either unserved or underserved. Where physical access is difficult and dangerous, government's presence is weak, and people are too poor to even claim an education. The work of public school teachers is nothing less than heroic and yet largely goes unheralded. This is the story of 31-year-old Randy Halasan, a teacher in Pegalongan Elementary School. Serving the indigenous Matigsalug tribe, living in one of Davao City's remotest mountain villages. To reach Pegalongan from his family's home takes Halasan seven hours of travel, two hours by bus, an hour over extremely rough roads by habal-habal motorcycle, four hours of walking, and crossing the waters of two treacherous rivers. When Halasan first arrived in Pegalongan in 2007, he was only one of two teachers in a two-room schoolhouse, teaching multi-grade classes between grades one and six. With no electricity and primitive amenities, the place was virtually cut off from the outside world. The novice teacher's first thought was that he would seek a reassignment out of the place the first chance he could get. But today, seven years later, he is still in Pegalongan. Moved with compassion for the children who also have to walk miles and cross rivers just to get to school, only to fall asleep in class from hunger and fatigue, and driven by a sense of duty to help the impoverished and defenseless forest tribals against the encroachments of powerful outsiders, Halasan has embraced the Matigsalug community as his own. Assuming as head teacher in 2010, Halasan proactively lobbied with higher authorities to expand the Pegalongan school. The two-room, two-teacher schoolhouse of 2007 is now a permanent school with nine rooms, eight teachers, and 210 students. Through his representation, a cultural minority high school has been established, with Halasan as teacher in charge. He convinced parents to keep their children in school, discouraged the customary practices of early and arranged marriages, and promoted values of self-help and egalitarianism in the community. Recognizing that poverty is the community's fundamental problem, Halasan has taken his advocacy beyond the classroom. He says, if I only focus on education, nothing will happen. The children will continue to go hungry. Envisioning a food sufficient community, he inspired his fellow teachers to donate seeds and encourage the villagers to plant fruit trees and vegetables. With the Pegalongan Farmers Association, he accessed assistance from both private and government organizations. The farmers now have a collectively owned rice and corn mill, a seed bank, a cattle dispersal project, and horses for transporting their farm products. Participating in a forest rehabilitation program that by 2014 will have 100 forested hectares, the Matigsalug of Pegalongan will be both stewards and beneficiaries. And Halasan's youthful graduates are helping their elders protect their legal rights to their ancestral domain. Oral tradition says the word Pegalongan means the place from which the light shines. Because of one impassioned civil servant, the village has become truly what its name suggests. Explaining his motivation, Halasan says quite simply, no one got rich out of teaching. It's your legacy that matters. In electing Randy Halasan to receive the 2014 Ramon Magsaysay Award for Emergent Leadership, the Board of Trustees recognizes his purposeful dedication in nurturing his Matigsalug students and their community to transform their lives through quality education and sustainable livelihoods. Doing so in ways that respect their uniqueness and preserve their integrity as indigenous peoples in the modernizing Philippines.